And it's time for our favorite course, Drink and Dessert. That's right. Ooh. We've got Tim Sweeney and Jocelyn Delk Adams here ready to share their Al-inspired recipes. First, we're going to start with the marvelous mixologist, Tim, our local bartender right here at Pebble Bar at 30 Rock. Tim, thanks for cruising down. Tell us about this one. Thanks for having me back. So I'm told that the Aperol Spritz is Mr. Roker's favorite cocktail in the world. Now, the Aperol Spritz was kind of perfected in 1974. It's a scientific fact. They wanted some kind of riff, so we're doing an Aperol Sour with champagne syrup instead here on this overcast 70th birthday. That sounds delicious. So what we're going to do, first, you have champagne syrup. I don't have to go through the whole intricacies of that, but equal parts by weight. you got flat champagne. you got you got... Uh, you got sugar in here. You're gonna shake it. You can do it over here. You can do it with a whisk. You're gonna come up with a champagne syrup. We got that right there. Let's put that into the small tin. Okay. Now we already have an egg white in the other one. We got a little lemon juice here. We got some gin, because it goes well with it. And then we have Alperol. And this is called Thank If you. the Alperol Fits. Wear it. Two punch Thank for the you. price of one, Punky Thank Brewster. <laughs> All right, so actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna to top this off and we are gonna dry shake it. Oh. Get it all mixed in there. Oh, yeah. Just need a little bit, yeah. just need a little bit. Yeah. Stop. We're bringing it off. Oh, thank you. We're going to add some ice into it. Uh-huh. And now yeah, we're going nice. to do a proper shake to it. Double shake, huh? Can't okay. have it explode on you. Thank God it's overcast. Otherwise, I look like Witness Protection Program <laughs> Uncle Fester. But, so at the end, what you're going to have is the Aperol Sour here. Everyone would like to imbibe on this? Yeah. Cheers. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Cheers. 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 All right, we've only got a couple of minutes left. All right, folks. That's for you. That's for you. Jocelyn, let's go down to the Cheers. cake. What do you got, Alan Spider? I know. I mean, seriously. Oh, we got birthday cake for the birthday guy here. I mean, I heard that you love strawberry shortcake. I do it indeed. It is the absolute best birthday cake ever, oh, and yes. we are going to make it from scratch. We got a perfect yellow cake batter. Uh -huh. Sometimes people love to use biscuits, but we're going with this. This is super moist. It's got sour cream in it. It's got a mix of butter and oil to keep it nice and tender, melt in your mouth. That's what we're trying to do here. We've got three cake layers. Uh -huh. Then once we bake those up, you get these beautiful golden brown layers here. But then we got to get to the star of the show, the strawberries, strawberry. right? Oh, Perfect time for oh, I know, gorgeous strawberries here. I like to add a little jam. Ooh to the strawberries uh -huh. along with some sugar because this is dessert. You gotta, <laughs> I mean, we're not playing around. We gotta make it a little sweet. So we mix this up. We stick it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Let all those gorgeous juices come out. Do you see this? You can just oh. eat this bowl right now. This is yeah, breakfast, I was gonna right? say. It's berries, perfect. We get some whipped cream. You start your layering. We've got our oh, last yeah. layer right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, let us go. It's oh, We're gonna stick this right on top. Now you're gonna do the honors here. You're gonna add a little whipped cream. Okay. I'm gonna add some strawberries. All right. You gotta, you gotta decorate. When you're 70, you gotta decorate your own birthday there cake. That's go. what I heard. That's what, what I heard. Word on the street. That's the word on the street. Moment, okay. Look, look, you're, you're doing, doing a, a gorgeous job, job too. Okay. Job. And that's, that's the, the perfect thing about the strawberry shortcake. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be. What a nice pairing. The exactly Aperol sour, the strawberry oh shortcake. Yeah.